right, so why am I making this video? I feel inspired to do light language today. And I thought it'd be neat to do light language with Mary Magdalene and Jesus and just see what the experience is like. As you know, I sometimes do light language. I don't always do light language, mainly because I, it's just something that I need to work on feeling safe expressing myself in this way. And I know that anybody who's learning light language is going to feel kind of strange expressing themselves outside of the realm of ego. With ego, it helps us to be in control of what is appropriate. With light language, it helps us to be free. Okay? So, I'm going to relax now. Um, I feel inspired to tell you guys one more thing. Something that I'm discovering about 2020, you know, I recently shared a video and this video was to look at the energy side of 2020 to understand why 2020 is so important for human ascension. And I talk about some of the challenges this year and my, what I'm going through, what we all are going through, there's so many different versions of difficulty in everybody's life and we're kind of living in an experience where it's hard to know how to be grounded in an unpredictable world. And it's kind of challenged me to feel grounded with my YouTube channel here, my Abby Normal channel. And I've noticed over the years I've been building skills that I never had before. For instance, one of the skills is I learned how to do, do Adobe Photoshop, okay? So I can make pretty thumbnails, right? <laughs> well, I'm finding this desire to be set free from whatever rule book there is, this really is what's in my own mind as to what I need to do to get my message out there. So you'll hear things, you know, YouTube will suggest having a nice thumbnail, having these sp specific tags, doing it this way, doing it that way, and then that will work um, to get your message out there. And so I've been building these skills, but this year in 2020, it's like, I want to undo, it's not undoing, it's loving and appreciating all of my growth, but it's also letting go of what worked at the time is now, I want to change it. I want to change things up. I want to freely share messages without having to take all the additional time to create a thumbnail that may not even be necessary, you know? So how, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is I want to embrace the flow. I want to override any type of ego. I want to feel more free. The whole human race, we all want to feel more free. So maybe light language. <laughs> One way to set ourselves free. Light language. <laughs> What's another way we can set ourselves free? Love. Loving ourselves, Breaking our own rules of what is appropriate, what is good, what is then better than good. Because maybe enough is good. Maybe there's a new way of doing things that I can feel in the flow feel alive and bright, share messages and just let them be what they are. And I guess now light language. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'm still talking because I'm avoiding. I might be avoiding light language. What's going to happen? I don't even know. <sighs> okay. I made a light language video a few months ago that I haven't shared. I have all kinds of videos I haven't shared yet. I was making thumbnails, okay? <laughs> I was also going through 2020 and it's very confusing. And I'm letting go of the confusion. I'm letting go of the thumbnails and I may be sharing a lot. So maybe there'll be videos that resonate or you're interested. I might be oversharing. I don't know, but it feels like I need to get myself out there more. Like I want to share more. I can share more by doing less thumbnails. But I did this light language a couple months ago and I, I feel like I'm attracted to frequencies. So expressing sounds at very extreme pitches and weird, um, strange sounds. 
um, in order to break up energy patterns. Like I'm really, I really am a sensitive person when it comes to feeling energy. And so I don't know what this light language is going to sound like, but I'm going to keep it open. And it may sound like pitches, extreme pitches. It may make you laugh hysterically. It may not. I don't know what it's going to do. It may make me feel really nervous, but I'm going to conquer myself today. You should try conquering yourself today. Okay, I told you all that. I'm not going to avoid anymore. So Mary Magdalene and Jesus. And I'm just, I'm freelancing, okay? I'm just freelancing here. not doing light language yet, but I'm going to share what my experience is right now, okay? There's a lot of clearing of energy in my mind, in my head. There's a lot of exhaustion feelings in my hands. And my hands are filling up with the light of Mary Magdalene and Jesus. And it's very comforting. It's very safe. And there's a message about the importance of self-expression and freedom of speech in all of its forms. And the speech of love. Light language is the speech of love. So I feel an opening in my emotional gut as well. Okay. あ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、
So I'm still in a state of transmuting energy and it has to do with breaking down shells of safety, security, comfort that were illusionary created by the mind thinking we needed that, don't need that. It's like learning how to swim and you have these little, you have these safety mechanisms on your arm, right? You blow it up and now you can float. Eventually you have to take it off and you freelance it. You're simply just in the water now. You got to learn how to swim on your own. And I'm touching your energy field. And I'm sharing safety, security with you, with me. So much fear of coming out of our shells. We don't even know how deep in a shell we are. How do we truly express ourselves freely, openly? How do we even know who and what we are? How do we find the ability to see the shells, these layers of security that we've created for ourselves? How do we find the ability to even see them, to work on them, to set ourselves free? There's so much experience of resistance when it comes to self-expression, when it comes to communication honest, authentic self-expression without any polish, completely raw. So I feel called to connect with Mary Magdalene and Jesus. Their energies are like divine masculine, divine feminine and they come through as a thread of golden light. And I feel their energy as a part of myself in my own heart, but wanting to express through my voice, but also in my hands. And with my level of development in expressing light language, it's hard to know how to set it free, but also work with my hands. But everything feels perfect about this gift from me to you. And the gift of you receiving me, it's really special. Okay. I'm going to go back into the energy now. Yeah, I guess it's so 
Washamika Kaya Rataya Wachaka Shiamant Kato Washaman and Ninana Waya Yaka Kayam Tirata Tasis Washaka Tia Sisio Washamikia Yamaki Shashaya Wa Everything is very, very heavy and it's pushing energies down, okay? I feel actually super dense. So I'm opening up energy at the bottom of our feet and at the top of our head, okay? representing root and crown chakra and I'm expanding this energy to give you more room to grow there's something special in the energy of Mary Magdalene and Jesus that isn't what I anticipated it has to do with what I could only define as intelligence Perceptive, loving, grounded communication, compassion, patience. And it doesn't work with ego. It's simple, it's genuine. You could define it as basic, even. It's not overly accentuated. But yet, the presence is obvious. It's visible. It couldn't not be visible. Because it glows from within. Just like you do. Just like I do. So I hope you guys like this light language experience. I'm just coming back to myself here. It's very vibrationally a lot. <laughs> so like my third eye is vibrating off the hook right now. It's interesting because you would think it would be my throat. But we are working on breaking down ego, and ego is associated with perceptive thoughts and thinking. Can we have ego in our emotions, do you think? Do you feel? <laughs> I always find ego, I run into it in the mind. And when I work on transforming ego, oftentimes ego simply needs to feel like ego matters. That doesn't mean ego has to have all the power. Ego just simply needs to matter. <laughs> A lot of the other parts of you are just trying to be flexible for the other, overcompensate for one or the other. Um, chakras are trying to work as a unity consciousness but can feel quite separated from one another like we as a human race feel and ego seems to want to dictate how we're going to get through this life because it's all about survival giving us the best chance at surviving trying to think of every possible variable 
when really it's just holding you back. But ego is a part of us, so we can hold ego and say thank you for all that you do. And I know you're thinking about me, and that's why you're working so hard. But we need to remember that I'm more than just ego, I'm all that I am. And to be all that I am, then I need to be my heart. I need to be my feelings. And sometimes I need to feel the experiences that I'm going through without judgment of what I'm going through. To feel safe in speaking, to feel safe in being myself, even if it isn't polished or perfect, the way ego would see as the best way for it to be. So now I'm giving my ego a hug, a genuine, full of love hug. Ego is not our enemy. Ego is simply trying to help and we rely on ego a lot for help still hugging ego hugging your ego hugging my ego helping us to feel more naturally all that we are Okay, I feel grounded too. I feel really great. <laughs> a little, um, a lot of energy in my head going on. <sighs> That's all I'm going to share for the video. Thank you all so much for participating in this experience with me. If any of you would ever like to work with me one on one in a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I'm also on Patreon. I'm doing live streams out on Patreon. If you want to join, um, you can find me out there at Abby Normals Wisdom Quest. And I have two other YouTube channels. One is called Abby Psychic Services and the other is Zodiac Energy Readings. And I will be doing something with Zodiac Energy Readings soon. This inspiration to chill out on thumbnail creations is going to give me a lot more time. <laughs> um, and that's something that I really do enjoy. I really do enjoy doing, looking at the energy of each zodiac sign um, in the monthly energy. I think it's a lot of fun. And there's there's a lot of little tidbits of, of wisdom and perspective that all the zodiacs experience when I when I tune in each month. So I want to get back into that. So subscribe so you'll be some of the first people that will get to participate in those postings when I when I get into it, which is going to be soon. Swear to God. All right. Have a great day, everyone.